Hello, nerds, nerdettes, super nerds, and let's be honest here, mostly family members and friends, to episode 10 <laughs> of the Adventures in Novus podcast, brought to you as always by Damn Gaming. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> All of our information is in the notes, and if you can be so kind as to leave a like or comment, anything at all, be it happy, angry, or sexy, they're all acceptable and welcome. We have a Patreon where you can get early access to episodes or even name a PC or a town. Maps are on Twitter if you like those, but that's enough. Let's get to the frickin' episode. Episode 10, boys. We did it. Double digits. Let's go. Woo! That was terrible excitement on two parts. <laughs> Decent excitement on the other. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick recap of episode 9. Our heroes met at the Tooth and Claw after acquiring two quests. One to take out the Thieves' Den from the Knights of Abadar, and one from the Thieves' Guild known as the Forsaken to meet Rufio again because Travis wasn't quite convincing enough to Rufio with his previous collections. The next day, the group makes a plan to take a look at the hideout and Travis commits to meeting Rufio, with Anders and Crick there in the background just in case. The group gets split up by a wagon due to the small wagon road regulations in this world. And once again, the party was split. <laughs> Travis meets with Rufio alone and has to do another collection with a massive man named Thing One, who was one of the people who killed his friend Alfie. And in the end, he ends up killing Thing One and siding with the target, who was a Tengu. Anders and Crick get information about the hideout. Gotta have a montage. So... Friends, this is what we do. And then we have a little montage of us drawing in the sand and making plans and movements. And we all go and they make gestures and they put a rock here. This one's for you, Anders. You're a, you are Rockman. And then Travis, you are Stickman. And I put you here and we go attack. It's a good plan. You notice I'm the rock and you're the stick, Travis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys have a plan. So. Caught that. <laughs> what do you do? During montage, <laughs> I cast a mage armor on Crick. Oh, I guess you. You were going to go and smash the shit out of them, I believe. Okay, so how are you going to proceed to smash the shit out of them? First, we wait, uh, we for, wait for this patrol. patrol. Okay. So... We want them to not obviously have just left, but... I guess. Give them five minutes. Yeah. So you guys wait another half an hour and that patrol walks by again. Okay. We wait five minutes until it's cool. Yeah, you guys have waited until they're far in the distance. Excellent. Uh, this is the time. Let us go, friends. Can we perceive who's where through the windows? There's only one window on the first floor, and it is not a window. It's just a right. hole. Hmm. I don't know. Anders, put big sword in hand. Let us go. Right, let's do it. You guys are just going to march in there? He's going to... Hmm. Yep. I unsheathe my massive weapon. So you guys are going to go in there. S weapons out. Guns blazing. All three together. I love it. Mm -hmm. So you guys approach the hideout. And you see the typical small orphan child see you guys, open his eyes wide, and run inside the hut. Roll for initiative. Nine. Also nine, but I go ahead. After you. <laughs> Twelve for Travis. So everyone has rolled for initiative, and we have our three heroes five feet away from the front door of the hideout. The orphan child who saw that three men were brandishing weapons approaching the door was just running inside. So we're going to have a surprise round with our three heroes and the orphan. As they enter the hideout. So first is Travis. I'm gonna try because I know the kid, right? I, or well, I, it's, I, you've I, seen they, the kid around, around, but it's never always like the same kid as you enter. Right. But they like they, they just kind of turn to go, right? Yeah, he's just he's just right in the door, five feet away from you, or ten feet, I guess, ten feet away from you. 
I'm gonna say, oi, oi, you don't want to go in there. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out like a, a gold coin. A gold coin? Yeah. Roll a diplomacy. 14? 14. Yeah. Mm. See, that's pretty close, because I was going to give... He's frightened, so, you know, there's going to be a minus there, but the gold coin, that's a plus. So I'm kind of at odds, to be honest. So I'm going to roll Straight it to 20. Roll. 14. And 11 to 20, the kid's going to stop for a second. And 1 to 10, he's going to keep going. I rolled a 17. Yes! Is that real gold, sir? Of course it is, little guy. I'm going to give it a flick and catch it. Roll an attack roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. <laughs> so you flick the gold coin in the air. He catches it. No, I, I was flicking it to myself to make him come out. Oh. I don't want him to go in the building. Okay, so you entice him. Yes. I'm so trying you to entice him by flipping the coin up in the air and catching it again, and he is mesmerized by the shininess. Yeah, and I'm just kind of holding it up. I'm, I'm, uh, sorry, I guess because uh, free action speak. I guess I want to say I want to tell the other kids like, "Hey, let, let scatter you lot! Like this is gonna get dangerous." Well, he's just inside the door. Like this is happening like in oh. seconds, right? Yeah. So no one Six inside seconds. is quite aware of what's happening. No, I meant the kids outside. The rest of the kids. I'm, I'm telling them to scatter. Like this is gonna get dangerous. Oh yeah, there wasn't there wasn't that many people around oh, okay. on the outside. Okay. It's very quiet in the morning. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I thought there was like a, a gaggle of kids. No, 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 no. A, a gaggle. Okay, so it is now the orphan's turn, and the orphan is going to walk up to you and hold out his hand. He's Please, gonna... sir, may I have some more? <laughs> oh, jeez. I have to wait for my next six-second turn, kid. Sorry. <laughs> That's completely reasonable. <laughs> wow. It is now Crick's turn. Pretty sure you can hand it over. If you wanted to, I, it's I more did. funny this. Yeah, story. okay. So no, I, I well, did. I mean, either way, they're in the in, in the act of exchanging a gold coin because everything technically happens simultaneously. Right? This is the deal that's inaudibly spun. Sure. Yeah. Strong. Then, big wooden mask looks from little child to gold coin, gold coin to child, back and forth. <laughs> looks over at Anzers. Let's go, everyone. Let's. We. It's time. It's time. And he stands there waiting. So are you going to delay? Yeah. I'm You're going to wait for me to rush oh, him. Can you put the kid to sleep so I don't have to give up the cold? That's a waste of a time. <laughs> you can run in. If you're not doing anything him. else. I assume the and kid then... is neutralized <laughs> with this coin. <laughs> I love All how right. you guys are overthinking everything. I know. I know. So bad. So bad. Okay. So it's Crick's turn. Uh, he walks up. A oh, small hu human child, I imagine. Yeah, it's a human child. Small human child. He's good kid. He put he puts his hand on his shoulder, um, and does the hex slumber. Okay. Is there a will save for this? Make a will save. Do you aggro the child if you fail this? It's gonna be a natural twenty, just because it's Derek and it's Crick. I would <laughs> assume the child is neutralized with the coin. No, it, it, it would have been. That's yeah. not neutralized. Like, I, no, he was off, he kid. was already good to go. Yeah, uh, like, I know. I was but this way. I don't <laughs> now he's probably going to sleep because I'm imagining the orphan child's fortitude or will save. Will save. Will save. Yeah, it's not that great. So okay. yeah, he gets a thirteen. Okay, he has a slip. <laughs> so the child starts walking up to this beautiful gold coin, and all of a sudden, this creepy half orc puts his hand on his shoulder, and before he can say stranger danger, he is asleep on the ground. Mm -hmm. Put them in a and dumpster. I, I'm very nice to the children, you see. So I, I cradled them down and he put them okay, down. Okay, make sure he didn't slam his head. Yes, he's know, not yeah. broken. And just a sleep. Yes. It's okay. Okay. It's okay, child. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. That's lovely. Then in the dumpster. Now, now we have. <laughs> and then. <laughs> to, the mid -heap. Heap. to the midden heap. I very nicely just uh, lift him and toss him into midden heap. <laughs> uh, I wish to put my alchemist fire into the midden heap as well. I assume this all works. <laughs> Finally, you guys have a plan. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful plan. No, none of that happened. Uh, uh, that was great, though. Um, That's for an alternate universe yeah. in which we got very dark. It is now Anders' turn. Right, well, I will charge forward through the door. 
So Anders goes into the hideout. And how far do you move again? 30? Uh, 20? 20? With armor? I think so. 20. <laughs> uh, yeah, 20. I enter the door and I immediately take measure of my surroundings. As you pass the sleeping child, you see a you see a skittish bunch. Like imagine a casino at nine in the morning. <laughs> And that there must have been some people there probably all night, probably due to certain substances that sound like cat. And there are some people that maybe have just slept and been super hungover. And they're like the most delinquent of the delinquents. Um, You do see a guard at the bottom of the stairs who goes kind of wide-eyed as soon as you take a step in you see a on the right there's only one card table open and there's three humanoid creatures playing cards with a blackjack dealer with a card dealer and to the left the fighting pit is closed like no one's around there it's dirty it's messy but there's nothing there. So really all you have is a crowd of three civilians, a dealer and a ruffian at the bottom of the stairs. I have added them to the map. The stairs are 10 feet ahead, by the way. So, and they go up to that second attic level. Is is the God aggravated? Well, he's wide-eyed as soon as you get in and he is definitely- Is he reaching for his weapon? 100% he's reaching for his weapon. He doesn't know who you are, and you have a big sword. All right. So, as I enter... He has a rapier. I shout at the occupants, the the civilians, the denigrates, the, the, you know, the people that are... So you just walk in and start shouting? I yell at them that they're they're offering free cat down at the dog track, (laughs) (laughs) where you can get two-for-one bets right now. All you have to do is... Just show up before bef- <laughs> before lunchtime. No, before breakfast. Get the fuck out. Roll a bluff <laughs> check. <laughs> bluff check, god damn it. All right. Oh, can just 15. 15. 15. 15 total? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have anything for bluff. You don't have anything for bluff? Charisma no. is what? Minus one? Oh, 14. 14, okay. So you rolled a 14 on your bluff check. Yeah. So the three card players at the bar were all just like, whoa, whoa, free cat. Where's where's, where's dog races? Where's dog races? (laughs) And they're kind of uh, (laughs) expecting you to maybe just point or they'll just basically do whatever the hell you want. There's one door. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Well, it's like, you know, yeah. Outside, you fools. Yeah, and they just three of them just like book it right outside. <laughs> the dealer is kind of uh, kind of raises an eyebrow. And it's your break time. Get the fuck out of here. The guard at the bottom of the stairs draws his rapier. Okay. I'm walking up to the guard and I'm gonna smash the shit out of him in the next turn. All right, that's a good plan. So, as you walk up to the guard. You kind of feel this weird feeling on the inside. And it's kind of like a slight emptiness for just a second. And you know this to be like an otherworldly magic affecting you. And for today, you don't have your lay on hands. (laughs) So a chroma has not approved of you lying which is not very paladin-like. Oh my god, a chrome was a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's something past Anders would have never have you know, done. You know what I don't approve of, a chroma? <laughs> Abandoning all your followers in their hour of need to go take uh, take part in some hedonistic pleasures, you fucking cunt. <laughs> and this guard at the stairs is watching Anders talk to himself. <laughs> yeah. and he is just frightened. <laughs> but not really frightened. (laughs) With that, we go to the top of the order. So there is one bandit who is aware, one guard, who is aware of your guy's presence. 
and he quickly yells, INVASION! and takes a swing at Anders. And it's a critical threat. Oh, what? Come on, roll to confirm. I call BS. Oh my god, rocks. So we have a critical hit. What? Oh. This is uh, not good. Not a good start. That was a 19 and an 18. That doesn't sound right. It has to be a 20 and a 20. Not if he's using a rapier. <laughs> One. And that's nine damage as he finds that weakness in your armor and stabs Oof. right into your side. Uh, that was a clang. <laughs> it is now Travis's turn. I'm going to move up towards the door yeah. to get into the room behind Anders. Yeah. And I'm going to see the dealer there. And yeah. I know. Do I know him? No, you don't know the dealer. Okay. So I'm going to swing my bow around and I'm going to shoot at the, the guy who's actually armed, who's fighting Anders. Okay. And that's shooting into combat, but you're yeah. good with that now, right? I am good with that now yeah. because of my level two feet. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? Travis missed as an arrow goes right into the wall. <laughs> Travis, I sure hope you're an excellent jazz musician because you're blind as a fucking bat. <laughs> if I was blind, I might do better. <laughs> Crick's turn. Crick uh, confidently walks right into the room and uh, through the doorway into the left to go into the corner. Yes. Uh, now, f- watching everything that's going on, do I see this dealer man? Yeah. What is he doing? He is still looking suspiciously at Anders. I attempt to use my hex on him. Please make a will save. How long is that kid asleep for? Don't worry about it. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> 19. You're a cheater. <laughs> yes, he pissed. Not, okay. No ill effects. All right. So he just shakes it off. No problem. He's a dealer. He's seen some shit. He knows what's going on. <laughs> and yeah. we have Anders next. This, yes, this is all I do for him. Right, well, I will uh, attempt to return the favor of a critical hit on this twat in front of me. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a miss. Okay. That is a natural one. Oh, wow. So you basically just forget how to use a sword for a second. Ooh, I guess I, that blow got me real good. Yeah. Anders, no, that is not how you hold the sword. What are you doing? So uh, we're going to go to the top of round two. So it is the bandit's turn, and another bandit shows up from the stairs to go directly behind the first one. And he has a bow, and he's going to take a shot at Anders. That's a miss, as he was hustling too fast and didn't set properly before letting go. Then the first bandit that already stabbed Anders, he's going to take another swing with his rapier. It's a girl sword. Oops. And that's a 18 to hit? Well, that's a floor die. No, I, I knocked it off. Floor die. <laughs> 18 to hit? Yeah, that's a hit. Oh, that's a hit. Thank you. God damn it. So I'm just going to roll for damage and hurt you a little bit. For two damage. It is now Travis's turn. <laughs> um, okay. I'll shoot at the guy in front. Okay. Uh, yeah. The, guy the same guy as before in front of yeah. Anders there? Yeah. Because it doesn't matter in the comment. The bottom of the stairs. I'm so afraid. Ooh, that's a little bit better. Ooh. Oh, we actually get a hit? Maybe. 19? That's a hit. Mm. Yes. Oh my I never doubted you. Oh, what a miracle. Nice. This is very good. I I nine have... episodes, but we finally got a hit. I don't I have this damage before. dice prepared because... <laughs> I don't yeah, know where your damage is. <laughs> I've never hit with things before. Ooh, max oh, max damage. Oh. Nine damage. Oh, my God. Oh, it nice. feels good. Do I have point blank shot, too? Yeah, that was a good... Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, it's not composite. Never mind. Nope. Just longbow. 
Cool. Oh. I'm never going to feel that again for another nine. <laughs> <laughs> Is this man still fighting? So you launch your arrow, and it finds a weak point in his studded leather armor, and it goes right into his chest. And he hunkers for a sec, spits out some blood, breaks out the arrow, and stares you down. Mm. A figure appears behind Travis. <gasps> oh, it's a okay. <laughs> nope, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's more bad guys. It is a dark skinned elf <gasps> standing in a battle ready pose. She has silver hair and white eyes and is pupilless. That figure produces a rapier and attacks Travis. Oh no. God damn it. 19. Yeah. <laughs> Take six. What is going on over here? Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Two orphan humanoids burst into the room as well. They're brandishing small, like, prison-built shivs. They don't attack you guys, but they're waving it around menacingly, trying to be threatening, but they're too frightened to attack. What? It's Crick's turn. Beware, there's a menacing child in front of you. Yeah. It's almost tactical retreat time. Wish to move out of the way of this menacing child. Do not like it. Eh. A few spaces away. And I wish to use my hicks on the archer. Okay. Please make a will save. Please don't make a will save. Six. He is a slip. So you obviously you move away from the child, but the child is avoiding combat still. Anders! Anders' turn. Anders, Good. stop with this nonsense and finish this off, okay? Smash. Well, I assume it's a power hit. Uh, hopefully it's a hit, though. Plus eight, uh, 18. 18 is a hit. Ooh, yes. nice. Hm. Oh, yeah. 19 damage. Yeah, your minimum roll would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> so with your cold iron greatsword, you lift it mightily above your head. The guard's eyes go wide, also known as a bandit, and you <laughs> bring it down, and, and there's just no hope. You easily slice right through him to the shock of everyone in the room. This is what I'm talking about, Anders. Yeah. This is much better. I'm cutting a bit of cheese. 19 I'm, I'm glad that we are finally working as a team. I say words and you act. <laughs> this is how our team should be. Is that it? The, uh, the other guy's asleep, right? You do a five-foot step if you wish. Yeah, I'll make a five-foot step the forward. Steps. Yes, that's Yes, now good. you're just in front of the sleeping archer. Correct. Okay. And now it is Rufio's turn. Rufio. So Rufio is going to come from his office and he's going to flip down the stairs to avoid the sleeping body of one guard and the attack of Anders. So unfortunately, Rufio was not quite nimble enough to dodge an attack. So Rufio fails his acrobatics, so he manages to get down the stairs past his sleeping friend, but he leaves open a attack for Anders. Anders, swing and see if you make this hit. Don't oh, fail me now. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> a natty one. A natty one. <laughs> Again. Again. So just a ridiculous flop down to reach your level and a ridiculous miss by you. And now you are standing toe to toe with Rufio. Rufio is going to attack you, but not before looking at Travis and saying, Travis, I am very, very disappointed. And he is going to swing. 18. That's a hit. So Rufio hits with his shimitar. I am a pincushion. And you take eight damage. <gasps> I'm nearly dead. This is not good, mate. 
Travis, with Anders falling in combat, it is up to you to protect your glorious leader. So we're back at, or <laughs> so we're at the top of round two. It is now Travis's turn because the guard is sleeping. Well, round three. Uh, there was a surprise round. Yep. I maintain I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Travis is going to five foot adjust to his right and take a shot at Rufio. Okay. Natty 14 with point blank shot is a uh, 19 on Rufio. 19 is a hit. Ooh. Oh, no. Back to back hits for Travis. What world are we living in? <laughs> uh, six damage. Six damage. Mm -hmm. So you take a good shot that lands right in the leg of Rufio, and he takes six damage. It is now the shadowy looking elf's turn. The drow follows Travis inside the hideout and takes a swing and misses. The orphans both shuffle around in a kind of a circle and they're just kind of waving their daggers menacingly. <laughs> they don't quite, you can tell, they don't quite know what to do. They're both, they want to be menacing, but they're also very scared of the situation. Like they're kids. <laughs> it's now Crick's turn. Yes, Anders, you listened to me last time. This time, do it again. Smash this man. Uh, I wish to make a knowledge check on this drow creature. Okay. What kind of knowledge do I need? I actually I don't have many. I've only got planes, nature, history, arcana. Do these work? I'm sorry, but none of those work. Okay then. I do not know what this creature does, but Rufio, he seems to be the problem right now. So Rufio, and I have my my uh, my wooden mask. And I point at him with long spear, and I, with one eye closed, one eye open, and I look at him and I give him stinky eyes, and I say, you are the bad man, and I hex at him. I don't even know you. Nice hair, though. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you see Crick uh, reach back to his uh, ponytail, his John Travolta ponytail. <laughs> All right, and you attempt to hex? Make a will save. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Oh, plus two. Maybe? 17? Oh! Yes, nothing happens. So Rufio shakes off whatever disgusting hex Crick was trying to put upon him. <laughs> do not have consent. I don't like this. We need more falling of men. Bad men fall. Anders' turn. Anders, this up to you now. I'm gonna smite this evil bastard. Oh, I like it. This die. Oh no. <laughs> that's a miss. I rolled a three. <laughs> yeah, that's a miss. It's okay. a 14. <laughs> this is <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a big miss. And now it is the bartender's turn. Yeah, the bartender was kind of taking in the scene, and he has decided that he will attack traps. <laughs> that's a miss. Oh, thank God. As he misses with his makeshift dirty shiv, as he stabs into a Travis's armor, but his armor proves to be quite adequate against a makeshift dirty shiv. <laughs> it's now Rufio's turn. Uh oh. And he's gonna swing. Full attack action. Mm. That's a two, ladies and gents. <laughs> So his Oof. first one, he gets just, he's just wide-eyed. He's stoked that Anders had missed and he was just overconfident and just completely whiffs his first swing. Oh, swing. This and is... rolls a seven for his second swing. Whew. So he got way too excited and just completely whiffed on his first swing and then hits a good size plate on Anders' shoulder on his second swing and the shimitar just bounces right off. I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you got, you? Yeah. 
<laughs> Is that all you got? I'm severely wounded. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Travis's turn. Top around five. <laughs> Pick around. Any round. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's neat about combat manager? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to make a knowledge local on this strange elf in front of me. Absolutely. I don't know much. All right. So you try to dig deep and you just can't quite picture where this creature could be from. <laughs> Even though I did tell the audience it was a drone. But that's just for you guys because I love you. Yeah. Fucking Bob. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to drop my bow, pull up my earth split and try to swing at this thing because it's... The draw? Yeah. It's been All messing right. with me. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Um, oh, that's not going to be enough. 16. 16's a hit. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, bah, 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 bah. Uh, nine damage. Oh, my God. So I don't know what kind of vitamins Travis has been taking lately, but all of a sudden he's hitting with this Earth Splitter, and he smokes this drow right in the stomach so violently that intestines instantly spill right out. Ooh. And it just goes, blah, blah, and just falls right to the ground, crumpled, dead. Yes. Woo. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Nice. I didn't know what you were, but you did. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Excellent work there, Travis. I am going. Well, I guess, did you draw? No, you just. Yeah, no, that was the, the move action. Yeah, draw. Yeah, yeah okay. that's right. So that would have been the dead draw's turn. Oh. But now it is the orphans who are just swearing at you guys and making stabby motions, all threatening, hopefully hoping that that does something. I'm going to give a flavor stink eye to the bartender guy behind me now. I just smoked her and there's going to turn like, mm. Joke's on you, Travis. I did know you and you never left me any tips. <laughs> <laughs> it is now Crick's turn. Uh, Crick gives an eye to this little floundering orphan decides to pay it no heed uh, and then looking back up at Rufio the orphan does cower when you look at it mm. uh, I, look, <laughs> I look back up at Rufio and I begin to gesture with my hands <laughs> please make a fortitude save 19 on the die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. So Rufio's. Hang on. Oh. You lose a two strength as oh. a ray springs from my hand. So a ray springs from your hand and makes contact with Rufio, and a, a struggle just ensues as Rufio battles back. And he fights back half of it, but still manages to take two strength damage from the endeavor. The ray of enfeeblement. So that's minus one attack, right? Minus Please. one to hit and damage. Because yeah. it's minus two strength. Thank you. Well done, Craig. And then from there, I believe it's okay. Uh, and there's. I've weakened him. Now you can finish him off. Now snuff him out. Yeah, it is now Anders' turn. All right, I'm gonna uh, smite this evil. I believe I want to make a five foot step as well. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? Oh no, this, Anders? this won't work. Never mind. Okay, so you're just staying where you are, yes. where the fighting pit is, where the leshies were fighting. Yes. All right. In front of this silly orphan creature. Yeah. <laughs> and is it so? Power attack applies to smite evil, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So I'm power attacking oh. Smite Evil oh. Rufio. Oh. <laughs> right. Roy. Let's have a swing. <laughs> and uh, fuck. Oh, oh, I kicked over at the last second. It's a miss. <laughs> oh, oh my oh. god. Uh, you guys are rolling terribly. Today. This is not what I tell you to do. You must listen. Somebody butted up my sword. <laughs> yeah, that wound is still bothering you, and it's just. He just. Rufio easily parries your next attack. <laughs> and it is Rufio's turn. He will do another full attack action as he slaps his scimitars together in anticipation of blood. 
14. That's a miss. You see, I have weakened him, so it's okay. 19. Miss. Yes! Oh, no, are you kidding me? Smite evil. Miss? evil boy. Right. Oh, my God. So he misses with his first swing. On his second swing, he confidently goes in. Uh, what he thinks is a lethal area near your neck, but the pauldron on top of your chain mail <laughs> glows and glances off the blow at the last second, deflecting it away. It was close. You feel like you were just inches away from death. I feel nothing. I laugh in the face of death. <laughs> I welcome it even. <laughs> All right. So the top of round six and the bandit wakes up and he's going to attempt to get up to the delight of Anders, who gets an attack of opportunity. Oh! A fatty natty. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my Roll dear friend. To confirm the crit. Wakey, wakey. You're just like rolling totally bipolar today. <laughs> you just kill him or you just do nothing. Not confirmed, but it's still a wakey, yeah, wakey it's eggs and bacon. Uh, let's roll for damage. Uh, two D6. Well, that guy might have a lower AC. You gotta ask. What's the, the total? No, he's not fine. That's 2d6, right? Yeah. Plus is this a power hit? Plus your power attack. You tell you turn it off? Yeah. I'm assuming every hit you have is a power right. hit. Because you're taking a minus to hit four, so that's why. At this point. Ooh. That is 19 damage, my friend. So the poor, poor bastard <laughs> waking up, just getting back to the world. Should have hit the sleep. Hoping the battle's over. You know, he's like, maybe we won while I was asleep. <laughs> And, and there'll be some fresh cat. And, you know, I can do some gambling, say hello to my pregnant girlfriend and seven kids and continue to support them. But no, that's not what happens, is it? He wakes up to cold steel, <laughs> piercing right through his poor little dome. And so many more orphans are produced with one single swing from Anders. And justice is dispensed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. No. Oh. Excellent work, good sir. And now it is Travis's turn. I am going to see Rufio in a sort of advantageous position there. I'm going to five-foot adjust uh, to get in flanking position with Anders now. So I'm going to take a swing at Rufio. All right, with your plus four for flanking. <laughs> no. Plus two. Oh, plus two? It's only at the side? Flanking's always plus two. Oh, okay. That is a solid 20. A solid 20 hit. Yes! Uh, splitter, do your thing. That's... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 10 damage. Hey. Rufio takes a solid blow to the back from the Earth Splitter and just gives out like a... <clears throat> but still staggers and stands with his scimitars at the ready. Oof. How's he, how's he looking? Is he... He's looking rough. Okay. As are we. <laughs> Orphans, once again, they're starting to look more and more nervous. In fact, one runs away. <laughs> and if someone wants to do an attack of opportunity, they're more than welcome. Nobody was in, <laughs> within range of that one. All right. And the other one just kind of stands his ground like, Fuck you guys! Carbon's here. Yeah. Bollocks on that one. <laughs> Crick's turn. Skitty you guys, I'm giving you um, Yeah. <laughs> Silly child, you should just leave. You, you see I, pay like... you, I pay you no more mind, and I kind of turn my back to him without even like, caring at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's relieved you're not looking at him anymore. Okay, after he, I turn my back to this small thing, uh, I look over at Rufio, and I put my hands on hips, and with angry face, which nobody sees underneath mask, uh, I decide to scream at this man. Very loud. Please make a fortitude save. 19. All right, cheat. <laughs> so you scream at Rufio, and he just manages to cover his ears in time and shake it off. And so he takes... One point of damage. Okay. Of a uh, kind of this uh, sonic sonic damage. So despite it only being one point of damage, <laughs> that explodes. You actually feel like Rufio is on his last. Thread. <laughs> oh, so close. Anders, 
Travis. Anders' turn. I have oh. just weakened him even more. Perhaps now you finish him off, not like before when I tell you these things and you not do it. You're also right. flanking now with me too. I am going to not do a power hit on this one. <laughs> nice. Oh. And I'm going to swing for the kill. Oh, that's not <sighs> enough. Might be good. With You're flanking and you smite evil. 16 is a miss. Oh. Just barely. Oh. Yeah. So Rufio still has enough to slightly get away and his chain shirt deflects the rest. Um, it is now the bartender's turn and the bartender is going to use his custom shiv on Travis. Ooh, that's nice. That's very nice. Uh, 17. <laughs> what? That hits. All right, here we go. <laughs> Take one damage. Ah. <laughs> As the small shiv finds the one weakness in your armor to drab just Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> do just like a little bit of damage. <laughs> it's like a toothpick. Yeah. You poked me. <laughs> Rufio one full those, attack uh, action on Anders. Those little swords for the olives. Yeah. <laughs> Rufio is going to try to inspire the orphan child first. He's going to try and say, Orphan child, do something, and I give you lots of stuff. The orphan doesn't care. Like <laughs> <laughs> The first swing by Rufio comes in at 15. At me? Yeah. That's a miss. Blocked by your chain shirt. Nine. Yeah, you limp wrist That's bitch. That's a complete miss, and we are back to Travis. Oh, I get a chance to... You've earned this one, Travis. When are you fighting it? Hmm? Rufio? Yeah. This one's all yours. I'm going to move away from the bartender again, too. I'll just get right behind him now. Mm-hmm. Hold the... Yeah, so you're five foot a step away from the bartender. So close to a 20, so close. Um, plus two, plus, what, uh, it's only 15, not enough. 15 is a mess. Yep. Concerning. The last orphan is just gonna book it out of there. I wish to make my attack of opportunity. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Long spear. Yeah. On the orphan? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. No Thirteen to hit. <laughs> Is this real? <laughs> what? Long spear. Thirteen's a miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's a straight up miss. As you guys see, Crick swing at this Lunge. poor fucking orphan child trying to run for his life. <laughs> Let it be lesson to you: never challenge Crick again. <laughs> <laughs> we are the bad guys. We're the, we're the evil bad guys. I believe my name is Palpatine. He actually kind of hits the orphan, but it just repels off his little, like, scrap cloth of t-shirt. <laughs> it hits the one dead rat he had strapped to the inside of his back. The only yeah. thing he owns. He had, he had <laughs> a rabbit ruined. skin on his left shoulder as protection, and it just happened to hit that. My lucky lucky rabbit, rabbit skin? skin? Yeah. <laughs> and right in the foot. Okay. Well... <laughs> So that's something you guys are going to have to talk about later. I am so looking forward to editing this five hours worth of material. It is now Crick's turn. Um, Crick watches this thing leave the building and decides to follow after it a bit. Uh, walks up to the door and shuts the door. Okay. Roll a strength check. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> It was on one for a moment, but it went to 19. <laughs> you easily closed the door. Um, yes, I believe this is my turn. Anders turn. As I'm walking by and I try to give tactics to my friends. Uh, you guys, you see, uh, you have attacked him. You're on both sides. Now just do the job. Do the job that I've paid you for. Oh, was I supposed to get flanking bonuses this whole time? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't been calculating. Plus two. I've yeah. been telling you this. That's yeah, I didn't calculate any. That's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> so he's already he's dead a long time ago. Oh, well. Let's do it this time. 
And now that now that Crick is door shut, he puts spear into ground. Yeah. Facing towards and is is a bulwark, is a strength. Nobody gets by Crick. Okay. I'm just gonna let you have that. <laughs> <laughs> Sanders turn. I rolled a natural one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He had like two twenties and three ones. Yeah. It's all or nothing. <laughs> so Anders is just like in a fit of rage. Like he's pissed at a chroma. He's not getting what he wants from him. And, you know, he's just swinging so hard that it's either going to be a lethal hit or an epic miss. And this one happens to be an epic miss. It is now Rufio's turn. <laughs> Rufio wipes some blood off the corner of his lip, spits out some more blood. <laughs> Kind of combs back some hair, takes more than five seconds for all of this, and then does his full attack action. <laughs> 18 to hit. It's a miss. Son of a bitch. <laughs> 19 to hit. It's a miss. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. So just, you're just like deflecting with like the gauntlets of your chainmail. You're just like, ting, ting. And Do this all day. Yeah. <laughs> It's all dramatics. It's almost it's like what you want, you know? You want the battle to go on longer, so it's, it's just more entertaining for you. You don't want to finish it too fast. There's, you, no, there's no glory in that. You got to give him a fair chance yeah. at it. Yeah, that, that's why I was fighting that way, too. Right. Yeah. You guys didn't see it, but I, I, exact same tactics. Top of round 13, it's Travis's <laughs> turn. 13, you just pick a number, <laughs> a giant number to make us feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> You're alone, you should feel bad. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Flank with the 17. Oh. I guess roof B O. Not enough. A 17 miss. Oh. Oh. So close. You hit the studliest part of his studded oh. leather armor. <laughs> what a stud. Yeah. Crick's turn. <laughs> you could spit on him and you would die. Throw, throw I even you. forgot the bartender. You guys are lucky. He was scared. He didn't act that. Yeah, no one's yeah. afraid of the bartender. He's actually a little sketched out. Like, he just got locked in a room with all these guys. Yeah. <laughs> and his leader is clearly dying. He didn't leave. Yeah, he actually goes back to the bar and he starts pouring some drinks, hoping that, <laughs> like, maybe, maybe he just... Act like nothing's guys. happening. Yeah, I was here the whole time. <laughs> to the what? winner that go little, the drink. That little shiv you have stuck in, sticking yeah, to the yeah. side? I don't know Sorry where about that. Just a little poke. <laughs> <laughs> um... So now from the doorway, uh, with spear pointed towards Rufio, I begin to launch more taunts at him. Yeah. Uh, I wish to use the rules for the mortal lies. Okay. Um, I must roll this. Oh, I feel. I think I fail. I fail. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. All right. So you just kind of point your spear at him and go. Mulligatani. <laughs> Mulligatani. Mul yeah, Mulligatani. <laughs> <laughs> Anders, did I use word correctly? <laughs> what is Mulligatani at a time like this? You got the word, but you uh, you missed a little on the context. Ah, this is so much different to speaking with your languages. Speaking of Anders, a great segue. It is Anders' turn. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> do what? Yeah, it's do nothing. Like, we've done all combat all day. <laughs> all right, this is not a power hit. I have flanking bonus. Yeah, you don't want a power hit. Can here. we just like, call I'm this gonna tell you right now. Are we going to change our name to the non-combat podcast? <laughs> yeah. We're just all role-playing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mike, Mike. Mike, get there. Maybe. Uh, Plus two from flanking. Plus four from smite evil. 18. 19? 18. 18? 18. I'm gonna be honest with you. His AC is 19. Oh, oh. it's a miss. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> it is now the bartender's turn. He starts pouring Jager bombs. <laughs> it is now Rufio's turn. <laughs> That's a fatty natty. Oh. This could actually be really, really bad. Yep. This could actually be a Death. Yep. If he confirms this crit. Because you guys are so bad. Yep. That's a 19. Oh, oh no. That's Wait, 19 to hit? 24. Oh. Yeah, it definitely hits. Confirmed. Oh. 
Uh oh. Anders, I hardly knew ye. Can we play like the Dawson's Creek theme song? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh man. That flank bonus, god damn it. You'd already be dead. Anders. Bullshit. You must the survive. The important part of the flank bonus is remembering. Yes. <laughs> have the flank bonus. How am I supposed to be expected to remember the physics of this game? Are you guys are supposed to do it for me? We I, said it. We did tell you many times. No, no that's it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now that one roll is a seven damage. <gasps> I'm already dead. I only have two hit points. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm dead. No, You're no, minus this is five. not how it goes. It's, no. You're so, minus five. So here, and because Anders does not know. Anders, you have constitution score of 14. You can go to negative 14. Oh. Before well, uh, yeah, like a, you would have permanently dead. Yeah. So, so you are now at minus five. That's fine. That's not fine, because I get to roll again. You got again. a second. Yeah, but you can only go up to... You're going to take another eight damage. Oh, my God. I have one hit point. So yeah, you are at negative, negative 13, and um, <laughs> extra bad news, uh, on your turn, you must roll a stabilize check, oh my or God. you perhaps you die forever. Unless you guys stabilize him first. Mm-hmm. Or cast a heal on him. Yep. Don't you have healing? Anders, no! What did I tell you? Travis, quickly, finish him off while I attend to Anders. I think I'm dying. I was one roll, one number away from killing you. Yeah. I just want you to know that. Hey, if I remember everything bonus, you've done for this character, yeah, no. because you didn't remember flank bonus that you have <laughs> <laughs> Whose turn? My turn? Is it Crick's turn? Rufio raises his two mighty shimitars. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna die to a man who yeah. says yeah. shimitar. You're gonna die to someone that can't even say shimitar properly. And with one slice, hits the back of Anders' leg, and then another spin goes up and hits his jugular. Oh. And Anders collapses into a heap onto the ground, bleeding out. Like Clint Dying. Malarchuk. Exactly like Clint Malarchuk. Oh my god. I remember the In legends. slow motion, Anders goes down on one knee, uh, and then two knees. And then slumps over on the ground, bleeding. And there's no. Rufio points a bloody scimitar at Travis. Don't point that shit at me. <laughs> and it's now Travis's turn. If ever I needed you, <laughs> dice gods, please. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna tell you right now, Rufio's at one hit point, and he's been at one hit point for like four <laughs> rounds. <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> so embarrassing. Yeah. Destroyed my life. Um, okay. Or maybe seven rounds. Who knows? Because you, you can't keep track. Who keeps track? Oh. Ooh. Oh, no, that was a miss. No, it's not 19. No. No. But yeah, you don't get that flank anymore. I, it wouldn't have been enough before, anyway. It is now Crick's turn. And this is probably Crick's most important turn of the entire campaign. Crick is most important player. <laughs> <laughs> Anders, I'm very disappointed in you. And uh, as such, and you, you see... Crick start making hand gestures, kind of like moving, moving around and chanting a bit. Re goes, points towards Anders, and a beam of white, pure white light, shoots towards you, and you can feel. Well, I mean, you're unconscious, but you can feel the uh, the blood coalesce, and you're no longer bleeding. <laughs> So I have cast Stabilize on Anders. He is no longer dying. Yeah. Okay. And I do wish to move five for, move a little closer to him, uh, on the back side of him. Yes. So Anders is still on the ground, but he is now stabilized. And we have Travis facing off against Rufio side by side. And Crick still in the fighting pit area to the left, and the bartender still pouring drinks in the bar area to the right. Also, it should be noted, uh, Crick brandishing long spear is also 
behind uh, this man. A little bit 10 feet back. Yeah, 10 feet back. So it is Anders' turn, and you just do nothing. <laughs> yeah, you're probably dreaming of fountains of lager and whatever Anders pictures heaven is. It is now Rufio's turn. And Rufio is going to do a full attack action on Travis. Travis, you must live. 16 on his first attack. That hits exactly. That's tough. That's a six. Okay. How does Travis look? He is not completely dead, but he is definitely hurt. Okay. Second swing coming. Yep. As Rufio is just in the zone at this point, spinning scimitars around. And you get lucky. You saw the combo that he was using on Anders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was using the exact same combo on you. Combo breaker. He just happened to duck as he spun around, going for that neck kill swing. Travis's turn. Uh, I would like to, for Travis to understand. Uh, mm-hmm. Craig has his uh, long spear, which is a reach weapon. Uh, so therefore, he's flank. Okay. Okay, so I do get flank in this turn. Okay. You get that plus two. <laughs> you see, Crick is most important character after all. <laughs> <laughs> Can I add like plus four to hit to do no <laughs> damage, like one damage? <laughs> is there a way to like. <laughs> Take twenty. Yeah, I'm gonna take, <laughs> I'm gonna take ten on this hit. How many turns is that to take twenty? I think it's a lot. Twenty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not exactly twenty minutes. There's a thing. There's a whole scale, but yeah, it's a long time. Who are we feeling today? You. Okay. Do you have a killing blow in you? Die. Come yeah, on. He kills you all with one HP. Oh my god. He will not. Oh my god. <laughs> he will not, eh? Mm. Travis is just shaken. He is just straight up shaken by the fact he's seen his good friend Anders go down to this man. He's taken a blow, just narrowly missed a death blow himself, and he can just not get it together, and he misses on Rufio. It is now Crick's turn. I wish to make... I don't have this knowledge check. Never mind. Um, Stab enough. him. You can try to swing. You get a flank, too. It'd be hilarious if he ends up dying with a crick's... <laughs> <laughs> I must do everything. What else can you even Most do? Most important. Do you have a... Like a like an acid splash or like a small damage? Ma- oh, you see, magic missile would have been perfect. I wish to cast spell on this man, but I don't know if it will work. So... I try. <laughs> Should I cry? I, I'm like, I reach into my pocket and grab a pinch of wool. And with some hand gestures, please make a will save. If you have more than four hit dice, just roll it and pretend like you pass. His will save is 15. That's so close. Come on. Come on. Throw us a fucking bone game. Come on. 13 plus two. This uh, is 15 for my level zero spell of days. So you try to ah! you try to freeze him with days. And, uh, he just shakes his off. He's like in a crazy fervor right now. Rufio's turn as he takes a full attack yeah. action on Travis. Holy crap. You you gotta be kidding me. Which what one? is with this fucking dice? <laughs> Sorry. There's so many. Is it, is it a one? <laughs> it's, it's a 17 or a three. He rolled a three. Okay. Oh, I thought, oh. <sighs> that's one attack. Okay. So over enthused, he misses his first attack. He spins for his second. Rolls another three. Yes! <laughs> oh my God, Travis! He's starting to weaken. His stamina's starting <gasps> to slip. You see sweat and blood pouring down his face. His hair is disheveled. There's blood all over his scimitars. And you can see he's waning. 
as it is now Travis's <laughs> I'm going to use my newfound pendant, yeah. jump up five feet in the air and just try to bring my hammer down, <laughs> just like end him. All right, just flavor styles? Yeah. Uh, flavor, yeah. flavor jump? It's, yeah. It, well, it's, it, sure, it's a jump, but it's... <laughs> I quit. <laughs> oh my I, god. I, I quit the podcast. You... That was a natural four on the die. Wow. Oh, I don't even know what to say anymore. Epic battle ever, but also epic at the same time. Just guys are just too nimble for each other. If you're still listening, thank you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> round 27, <laughs> Crick's turn. These idiots can't even roll dice right. Yeah. Uh, Crick puts butt of spear on the ground and begins dancing around with his mask and then again reaches into a pocket pulls out the wall and with middle finger points at man yeah please make a will save all right i rolled a one yes <laughs> this man is dazed that probably just saved travis's life yes i'm fine once again Crick is most powerful and important character <laughs> on podcast. You're fine. I think you're really lucky. <laughs> I told you the intangibles. This guy's like 50% chance to hit you, and he missed twice. Yeah. And now he's zero percent chance to hit because he's this. <laughs> For one round. Yes. <laughs> so wait, I can miss another round. Awesome. <laughs> uh, this is now the end of Crick's turn. It is now Rufio's turn, but he's all of a sudden very distracted and doesn't know where Travis is all of a sudden. And it is now Travis's turn, round 36. <laughs> he still has his regular AC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, so he can defend I can't look, himself. I can't even look. Oh! My God. I, I, I can't even make this stuff up. A five. <laughs> a five. <laughs> Change the die. I did. Use one of my die. No. No, those are threes. <laughs> I'm going to try this one next time. If I survive. Oh, my God. How many rounds is Rufio Days for? One? Just, just, one. just the one. Okay. <laughs> so now it is Crick's turn. Oh How many <sighs> rounds of missing before my wounds close over? And well, I'm you're you're actually. just stabilized on the ground, <laughs> half dead, like, until you get another cure. A couple. <laughs> you get, like, an HP a day or something, I think. No, right? He gets his constitution bo uh, modifier. Yeah. Plus, usually we do level as well. But yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Um. Why don't you just stab? Can, can you not make nineteen with your spear? You'd have to roll like a nineteen or twenty, I think. Eighteen, I would need to roll. <laughs> <laughs> you stand a better chance than me than hitting a. Well, you're flanked, right? Yeah, you're flanking. Ooh. I'm trying to help you guys. No, I know. I, I was, <laughs> this was uh, basically now no more spells, so. Crick grum grumbles. <laughs> it would be so epic if Crick it, killed this. Yeah, it's gonna have to. Good. I can't finish anybody off, apparently. Crick must do everything himself. Oh, God. And from where he is, he puts spear high overhead. Yeah. And in most awkward way you've ever seen of somebody stabbing with spear, he stabs from 10 feet away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No way! No way! No way! No! I'm gonna look. Don't move that die. Don't move that die. Yes. Oh, are you kidding me? So are I have a 17 on die plus yeah. my plus one bonus yeah. plus my plus two for flank yeah. is a 20 to yeah. hit. And that's a hit. And so Crick, sick of friends doing nothing, yeah. <laughs> comes in and rolls four damage. How do you want to do this? I, I, I tell most already, but he holds up spear over ha overhead, two hands. Yeah. Very awkward. Yeah. And John Travolta hair. And a little, choo -choo, he yeah. kind of does a little half, half jump yeah. and like goes forward, but yeah. then he wasn't sure, so he goes two steps back. Mm -hmm. Then he does the one more forward, and just as he looks like he goes back, off, off foot, he reaches forward with the spear. And it pokes evil man in ear, and it just shreds <laughs> off his ear. But it, that's enough. That was the straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> He's like, ah, my ear. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes down in a heap. <laughs> Once I see me evil man falling to ground, yeah. I look at bartender and I say, yes, drinks for all. I will have a double water. Jagermeister? Double water. Double water, okay, okay, okay. I can make this happen, I can make this happen. Uh, I just have to maybe go find water. You don't move. Okay, I don't move. <laughs> so Rufio is on the ground, bleeding to death. 
now that I see him on ground, I walk up very ever so slightly and grab my dagger. Yeah. And I wish to reach underneath his neck and slit throat. Okay. No more Rufio. And you hear Rufio. <laughs> yes. Rufio is very dead. Good. Very good. So Rufio has fallen. Anders is on the ground, unconscious. <laughs> Travis is... He's the worst unconscious person ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had my throat... Somehow sound. still making sounds. He, or no, he hit my jugular. That's, That's right. Yeah, but Somebody the, stepped on him. Your light wound sealed it up. So Save, you just have a, you have a beautiful scar there now. <laughs> the bartender is waiting for you guys to have some drinks. You'll, you'll have to wear a cravat for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, Christopher Walken in uh, The Seven Psychopaths. I'll be damned if I wear one of those frilly boy cravats. Crick is dancing with glee. <laughs> <laughs> Never really ah. Travis might be slightly embarrassed. And we are going to end the episode there because we are fucking spent. <laughs> Holy crap. Like, legit. That was close, boys. That was close to a TPK. Yeah. yeah. You forget, though. Crick was full health and mighty warrior. Yeah. So... I believe it was easy. It was just the second Crick decides to enter fight, the fight ends. Rufio might have had a plan <laughs> if Travis went down and there was just Crick left. Probably run away. It's called an escape plan. Yeah. Yes, which is smart move because, I mean, Crick is mighty warrior. But it's just crazy. Like the two threes by Rufio, <laughs> really, that was it. That was the round. And rolling 17 by Crick to finish him off with the spear. <laughs> it's nuts. And yeah, we just can't wait to continue this episode on the next Adventures in Novus. See you guys next time. Woo! <laughs>